I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll demo some of the basic debugging features of the Amethyst Professional IDE for the Adobe Flash platform. When debugging with Amethyst, you can click in the margin to set breakpoints in ActionScript. Your application can be launched into a browser, the Flash Player, or the Air Runner for Air projects. You must have the debug version of the Flash Player installed. Click the debug button or press F5 to start debugging. When I do that, the debugger stops at the first breakpoint. And now I can step through my code one line at a time using the debug menu or the debugging keystrokes. F10 is the default to step over without debugging into methods. F11 steps into any method calls. Using the call stack, I can navigate up and down the calls leading to the current execution point. And Shift F11 steps straight out of the current method and goes back to the next line of code that called it. And I can press F5 to continue execution of the program until the next breakpoint is hit. And F5 again to carry on. You can put breakpoints on MXML as well as in ActionScript. When I run my program, execution breaks there. Press F5 again to continue. You can drag variables into the watch window. And once there, you can click them to open them up and drill down into them. IntelliSense is also available in the watch window, so I can enter a dot to evaluate an expression. I select the name property and it shows me the string name of this object. And I enter E. This is an adventure game and that leads to a new room and it shows me the contents of the room at the east direction. And there are other debug windows too, such as the locals window, which shows local variables. And the immediate window in which I can evaluate expressions. These can be simple expressions, such as 1 plus 1. Or I can enter the name of a variable from my program here, which again is a room object. And once again, I can also make use of IntelliSense here, dot. And I can pick a method and evaluate an expression. So this one evaluates to true and this one to false. And I can also hover over identifiers in the code editor. So instead of using the watch variable, I just hover over the name of a variable and I can drill down right inside it. And you can see this is quite a complicated structure. This is a whole adventure game of linked rooms. and I can traverse the whole map of rooms by drilling down in these hovering data tips. So there, that's a quick overview of the basic features of debugging with Amethyst. Watch out for more tutorials which will explain Amethyst's advanced debugging features. And for more information on the Amethyst IDE, visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.